Hey everyone, it's Juno with Detour Shirts. In this video, I wanted to do something special and that is to do Design with Detour with you on today's date. So today is April 8th. Uh, if you're watching this later, that's fine, but I'm releasing this on April 8th and we're gonna do Design with Detour topic for April 8th, which is reading. And I've done a bunch of videos like this before, and but you've always known the end result. I've shown it on um, social media and things like that. But today we won't because I haven't done it yet um, and we're gonna do it along in this video. So the first thing, there's a bunch of steps that I do, but the first step that I do is to find the topic. Now, uh, I've mentioned this before, Design with Detour. You can look at that. I have a free download on my downloads page, but you can pick any topic that you want. In this case though, I'm gonna use the topic uh, in the prompts and that is for reading. So this is this one right here. And that's the very first step. Once you have that, the next thing you want to do is do some research. So I'm going to show you online where I do some research before I come up with some ideas on what kind of graphics to use. So I'm here on uh, Google. I just typed in reading t-shirts. So you can type in any topic that you want and just put in t-shirts and you can, you know, use the internet and kind of get ideas. You got reading rainbow, which I would say stay away from um, because, you know, uh, it's reading rainbow. That's a TV show. Um, but books, of course, that makes sense. Uh, you know, coffee, let's see with some other ones, ticket. A lot of it are um, text space, but I'm looking for graphics, uh, specific graphics that can inspire me to do something different. So we got, of course, books is a, is a big one for reading. Uh, so we could do um, animals reading books, skeletons reading books, other things like that. Uh, next thing that I like to go to is Amazon Merch On Demand. I go to the research tab and I type in reading as well. And you can see other things reading like cats reading, a pile of books, a dinosaur with lots of books. Again, reading rainbow, but uh, I would stay away from that again. Uh, indoor cat reading, octopus reading books. So you can, you know, there's a ton of animals that you could use and come up with good puns for that. Uh, let's see, uh, reading is my jam. So doing some kind of other puns like that, but usually a lot of animals reading different books. This is a, is a cool one right there too. Um, so ghost reading books, if you're closer to Halloween, I think that would be a cool one and so on. Uh, Red Bubble, you can go there too. Um, I typed in reading here into my search. Basically anywhere that you're selling. So if you're selling on Etsy, then I would check on Etsy. If you're selling on TeePublic, which we're gonna see, uh, check on TeePublic. But there's a bunch of ideas. Now we're not here to copy, we're just trying to kind of get an idea of what's selling currently and maybe do something uh, similar or maybe something even different than nobody has done. So that's another strategy is like, well, nobody's done books with blank. Maybe I, I should do that, uh, kind of mash up some ideas. So there you, there you go. This is that. And this is T Public, And you can see Reading Rainbow is a big one, but again, I would stay away from that. Uh, but skeletons, reading books, kawaii, books in the shape of a heart or different colors, bookshelves uh, is another cool one, um, uh, tarot card books, dragons and books and so on. So um, now the next thing I'm gonna do is kind of brainstorm maybe four or five ideas. I'll write it down on paper first and then we're gonna bring that into ChatGPT to see if it can come up with some good graphics that I could put on t-shirts. All right, so here we are on ChatGPT, ChatGPT4. I go to my GPT here, which is StickerWiz. I like using that one, but you could use any one that you want. You could actually use uh, just ChatGPT with ChatGPT4 because it has Dolly 3, but I like this GPT right here. It's by ChatGPT, but I like the um, results that come up with it. So, okay, I wrote down a few ideas here on my notepad after looking at uh, some of those uh, research pages that I did on the internet and uh, other POD sites. And here are some ideas. So I don't know what these are gonna look like. This is real time. So let's do one. Um, I saw a lot of bookshelves. So I'm gonna do uh, a bookshelf with a lot of books, a lot of colorful books, maybe that. Okay. And it's gonna take a little while. I'll fast forward through these so you don't have to wait and just show you the results. So here's what it came up with, and it is a bookshelf with a lot of books, but it just looks a little plain. So I'm gonna try and add something to it. I saw one with cats. I'm wondering if we can do mice. I think that would be cool. So um, I'm gonna ask uh, this uh, to add mice to it. So can you add a few uh, mice with glasses on the bookshelf? Now, I don't know what this uh, is gonna turn out to be, but let's see what happens. 
Oh, I think it turned out cool. Let's see. Yeah, that's cute. Uh, I'm gonna try and make it cuter and see what happens. So I'm gonna say, can you make it cuter? I'm gonna say yes, but can you make it cute or more cute? Can you make it more cute? All right, let's see what happens. Oh, this is more cute. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, yeah, but I don't like what happened back here, but I don't know. This could work. Maybe I'd take those guys off here because it's blurry. Yeah, I'm gonna save this one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna download this one and this will be one of the four that I show. Uh, you can see I'm not gonna use all of them, but this is one of the four that I'm gonna show on social media. So I'm gonna download this. I'll show you how to do that, how I do that later. Uh, so good, we got one. I'm gonna do another idea and that is kind of mashing up coffee and books. I saw a lot of coffee and books. So I'm gonna say uh, a cup of coffee uh, with a bunch of, with, with a pile of books next to it. Okay, let's see what that comes up with. All right, this is what it came up with. Let's see, I think that would work great. We can do like something about coffee and books or something like that. This book right here is kind of weird. Uh, I don't know what that, that's not a book. That's what happens with AI sometimes. What I like to do when I see this, I just say, try it again. So let, let's do, let's see if it comes up with something better. Try again. Okay, so here's the other version. Uh, the books look okay. Cup of coffee looks great. Uh, this wood, I wish they didn't put that in there, but I think it's fine. So I'm gonna save this one too. So now we got two out of the four that I need for my mock-up and uh, or my social media post. Let's do another one. I kind of want to do an animal and uh, I think in fantasy book, fantasy animal, we could either do a dragon or unicorn. I'm gonna do a, a unicorn. Uh, I'm gonna do a cartoon unicorn with glasses uh, reading a book. There you go. So there you go, a cartoon uh, unicorn reading a book has a sweater. I think that's fine. I'm gonna save that one. Boom. All right, and then I wanna see if we can make it like a bookworm, the play on bookworm. Maybe I can do a cartoon bookworm. So a cartoon worm uh, with glasses reading book. And I'm gonna say with a pile of book next to it, with a pile of books next to it. Okay, let's see what, what it does with the bookworm idea. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, that does look like a cartoon where bookworm. I think it's. I think it turned out great. I'm gonna. I'm saving this one. This is good. I might actually pick that one. That, I think that's the best one so far. Okay, last one. I think we got four already, but I wanted to try like a princess with a book. So a cartoon princess uh, reading a book. Yeah, let's try that. There you go. Cartoon princess reading a book. Wow, that is so cool. Um, I don't know, could I put that into a t-shirt? Maybe, it's so intricate though. Um, sometimes when it's too intricate like this, I like to reduce it. And one thing I like to do is just say, do it in a more vector illustration style. So let me try this. So I'll put, uh, can you make it a little more simple in a vector illustration style? Let's see what this comes up with. If not, I'll, I'll keep that princess. It's a really cool artwork, but sometimes with that much detail, it doesn't translate onto a shirt very well. And, but I mean, it would make a great sticker, I think, because the, the artwork is amazing. Okay, so it is vector art style, um, but I actually wanted more uh, color and I don't like this thumb here, so. Um, let me just add one more thing. Yes, but I want it in color. Let's try that. Hopefully sometimes uh, when I say I want it in color, it does like this rainbow of colors and it doesn't actually color it the right way that I want. So let, let's see what happens. But this is really cool. I could actually color it, knock out the white and color it myself, which would be really cool. But I, I still don't like the thumb there. I'm gonna have to um, draw over it and stuff, but it's that's a really cool. A sticker. Oh, this is nice, but it's not as nice as the other ones. So what do you think? Um, do I put this one in the ABC? I think I would. I, I like this one the best. This one is cool. I like the simple style of this, but I just wish the hair was colored and this was colored. 
Um, I may use that for later, but that's going to be a lot of work because I'd have to cut this out and then put that in there. So, you know what? I'll put this. I'll put this in my top four. Um, that one, uh, maybe not the. Maybe, and I really love. I really love that one. Just that book doesn't make any sense. So maybe I don't do a coffee with book because this one's kind of hard with the with that there. So I look at it and see like what's my top four. That's definitely my top four. Uh, so we got the mice, we'll get the unicorn, the uh, bookworm, and the princess, and we'll make the top four. And I'll show you how I do that um, for my social media post. All right, so here we are in Affinity Designer. This is a, just the a stuff that I, I set up here. You can see if I zoom in, uh, I have my ABC thing here. I'm just going to copy this. It's 1200 by 1200. I've made one already, so all I have to do is kind of option drag, click, option click, drag in here. And I'm going to remove the uh, armadillos that I did for the first of the month. And I'm just going to drag in from uh, my downloads, you know, my different pictures that I got here, my different graphics. And there they are, all, all four here. And it doesn't matter which one you put it in. I'm just going to do this real quick. Now, you don't have to do this on yours, but this is what I do. The nice thing about this is that I can get feedback. Now, I'm not going to get feedback before I do the, my design this time because um, we're doing this live. So I'm just going to have to pick one, but I'll get feedback. And the nice thing about this too is that now I have four ideas. So let's say this, this sells really well. I can do another one about books and stuff on here. So I'm going to throw these in the back like this. Just, uh, oh, there's that. And then I'm going to throw this in the back there and this in the back here and this in the back there and just kind of place it like that. Boom, boom, boom. And then I'm going to export this. Now, sometimes I change the, the letters to a white just so we can see it. So that's easy. That's just right here. Boom. Um, and then I'll move that up and there. And there you go. There's my ABC. I'll put this on social media today and get some feedback, but we're not going to wait for that because that's going to be too long. Uh, I'm just going to pick one. So I'm going to pick this bookworm. Now this mice one is really cool too. Uh, I, I like between these two. I think they're all, all really good, honestly, but I think the bookworm one could have some really fun uh, text with it. And uh, I'm going to pick that one for now. And then the next thing I'm going to show you is how to find uh, good text to go along with this graphic. So coming up with the right text is really important. Almost as important, I would say, as the graphic itself, because you need the good graphic, but you also need something that sells the graphic on the t-shirt. So when somebody looks at it, sometimes the graphic can be a standalone. In this case, I think it could actually work because people would know bookworm and it just sells itself. But let's try and do a... Uh, graphic with text here and I'm going to go to Kittle first. They have these tools here, uh, quote AI quote generator. And I'm going to generate quotes and pick a niche. So we have bookworm here, one word. And I'm going to hit continue and pick a mood. I want funny, two to four words is great. I'm going to generate quotes. So uh, this is one way that you can get some quotes. Uh, I'll show you a couple other ways to do this, but uh, let's see what it comes up with on Kittle. So uh, book nerd alert, read, repeat, fiction fueled, books over people, interesting, literally junkie. None of these actually say bookworm, but uh, bookmark bandit, um, bibliophile zone. Pretty cool. All right, so I'm going to go another way here. Now, we could pick one of these, but let's see, because um, we only need one. I mean, we could do multiple ones of this if you want scale designs and use um, other ones here. You, you could do that, but I'm just looking for one for today. I'm going to go to Vexels and see what we have here. So I'm also going to put in Bookworm like this and then hit Next. And we're going to do Funny as well. And let's see what um, Vexels comes up with, if there's anything. So here we go. Bookworms do it quietly. That's funny. We'll read for snacks. Too many books, not enough time. That's true. Bookmarks are my best friends. Uh, book nerd alert. Words are my superpower. Uh, reading is my cardio. Book hangover. Introverted bookworm life. I like that one. So I'm going to write this one down. Introverted bookworm life. In fact, I'm just going to take a screenshot. I like the word bookworm in it. And bookworms do it quietly. That's that's a funny one too. Okay. And then the last thing I like to do is just the internet. Google search. 
uh, bookworm t-shirt and you can kind of find some good ideas here now you don't want to copy anything but uh, you got little miss bookworm that's kind of funny library sound library sound that's interesting uh, library is calling I must go nothing but book well that one just says bookworm books make me happy you not so much and so on so I think I'm gonna try uh, the bookworm do it quietly uh, and again you can you can try all of these too. just find anyone that works for you you don't want to copy what other people have you want to try and come up with your own but if there's something that's trending right now about bookworms you may want to uh, look into that too i don't know what's trending right now uh, for bookworms there may be something uh, but you may be picking a topic that's different than bookworms or reading or something like that uh, and there is something that's trending so you might want to look into those too so there's always those those outsider ones now trending is going to get you maybe get you some quicker sales but uh, i'm looking for something that's more evergreen right now so uh, there's that so before we can use the graphic that we downloaded we're going to have to upscale it because it's going to be too small for a t-shirt so i'm here on dgb.lol and i'm going to use this image upscaler so just click on here and it's totally free uh, we're going to drag in this right here now I like to use six uh, times, but you can go up to eight times if you need to do that. But I'm gonna hit this one sharp six times and I'm gonna hit submit. Now this may take a little while and you're gonna see it says, oh, eight minutes. So during this eight minutes, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to do it with the smaller version. You're gonna do the same exact thing, bring it into a uh, photo P or affinity photo is what I'm gonna use and remove the background and then use that uh, to design in Affinity Designer or Canva or wherever. Now you could bring it, uh, the finished one, into Canva and use a background remover there, or Kiddo also has their own background remover. So there's multiple ways that you can do this, but I'll show you the way that I actually do it. So once you have your design, I'm using the smaller one here, but you're gonna do the same thing. What you're gonna do is drag it into Affinity Photo like this and release, and it's gonna open up. So here's our design. Uh, the bookworm with the books. I'm going to delete the background and the way you're going to do this is with the magic wand. I'm going to click on here. Now my tolerance is 20%. So that's what I want. I want to just hit delete, click on this delete. Uh, and we can use the erase brush or eraser right here as well to get some of these other spots. I'm clicking on here to make it smaller. You can also make it smaller here like this. Uh, and then we're going to just... Uh, do this kind of go over it this one right here and good now one thing I like to do is I'll move myself just a little bit here is I like to add uh, a color just so I can see in the background and I, I like to do like a little blue here and I'm gonna put this uh, fill bucket boom right there and right below it so I can see if I zoom in with my erase brush on the background um, zoom in here and see if I missed anything and it doesn't look like I have so let's go around around yeah it looks great okay so again this is the smaller one the the bigger one will be a lot cleaner but we can use this as practice to kind of get the layout where I want it to get uh, so I'm gonna take away this background hit backspace and then save this uh, export this you can do um, file export or you can hit oh command option shift s yeah command option shift s uh, and then do png and export and then just gonna say i'm gonna make this the smaller one uh, bookworm small as a png and i'm gonna bring that png into affinity designer now that i'm in affinity designer i'm gonna go file new and I'm gonna pick a new document. I have this Merch by Amazon size 4,500 by 5,400. Uh, you can make that your own here if you don't have it already. And I'm just gonna hit um, create. So we got it here. I'm gonna drag in that PNG that we saved, um, the bookworm one here. You can see it's the small one again. The bigger one will fill up the space, but we're using this just for placement. So I'm gonna size it up here and um, we're gonna pick one of those sayings that i found so here's one right here and the other one is here what did they say again bookworms do it quietly yes that was funny and introverted bookworm life so i'm gonna do bookworms 
do it quietly under there. So I think I'm just going to do, um, going to grab this one oval and put this in the background like that. And I think that would work. Let's make sure this is centered that way like that. And I'm using the text tool right here. I'm going to type the text on this shape and we're just going to hit caps lock and I'm going to go bookworms like that and put this here, the arrow here and this other red arrow here. And I want this centered. So I'm going to do centered there. And this is going to be, I think in Falcon, let's do that and make it bigger. Kind of like that. Maybe, maybe move this in. So I'm using option and left arrow to move these in. Kind of make it tighter here. Yeah. Let's see. I like it. It kind of matches. I'll move it down a little bit. Bookworms, perfect. And then do it quietly. I think we can still do the same thing here. Perfect. I like it. Um, we don't have to do much to it. There you go. Bookworms do it quietly. Uh, maybe you want to put some, you know, other background thingies here. I don't think it needs it. It's kind of safe. So I'm going to move this up like this. Boom. And I'm going to make another one like this. I'm holding down the option, clicking and dragging. And I want to see this in black. So let's do the bookworm here in white. And this in white here. Boom. Now you'll notice if this is black, let's do this even darker here, the background. You'll notice that this doesn't really stand out. If I come in here, you kind of see that white outline. So what I'm going to do is, and I'm going to do it on this small one, but it's, it's going to be fine on the big one, is I'm going to trace around here. So I'm not going to do this in real time. I'll show you how I do it and then end it. But what's going to happen is I'm going to come in here and kind of use my pen tool. And this is going to take a little extra step, but it's going to be worth it, is you can come in here like this and just trace around it like this. See that? And I'm going to do this all the way around. Now this, this is a little tedious and, um, you could change this to a vector and it would, it would just do this, but we didn't do a vector. We did a PNG. So this is my kind of a hack around it. And I have done a video like this before. I'm going to stop it here, but I'm going to do this and I'll come back when it's done and I'll show you what to do with this once you have it. All right. So you can see I did it all the way around here and I, I left that out. We, we can add that later, but. I'm going to show you what I do with this. So you can see I have the curve right there. There's going to be two things that I do. So first I'm going to copy it. I'm going to do command J. You can see there's two right there, one and two. And I'm going to take this bookworm and I'm going to put it in the top one here inside, just like that. So you can see it's cutting it out because it's masking it. Um, and did we get it? Yeah, we got it all. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to this curve right here, which is in the back of it and we're going to add a stroke to it. So we're going to make uh, the fill white and we're going to make the stroke white like this. And we're going to hit width. And you're going to see that the stroke is actually uh, coming in like that. Now we left out these two right here. So I'm going to kind of draw this really quickly um, with my pen tool. Now I have the big stroke on there. I can't see it. So I'm going to do that. And we're going to do the exact same thing as the white on here. Um, but we're going to make it black first and then do a copy of it and then do, um, the white stroke behind it, the same white stroke. So there you go. Kind of quickly like that. And I'm going to copy these two here. Uh, hit command. X. I'm going to cut it actually, cause we don't need it on that first one. Not yet. And then we're going to put a command V here. So it's going to be in the same one. We're going to color these, um, black, right? And there they are right here. I'm going to group them and then I'm going to command J. So the one in the back, I'm going to color white 
and then do that white outline right there like that. And you'll notice there they are um, with the white outline, same white outline. Now, now that because I, I've done this, I can actually separate both of them. So if I want to do this one right here and move it, maybe uh, five clicks to the right, I can do that. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, two, up there. And I'm going to do the same thing on this one. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, there you go. So it's more spread out now. And I could add some more over here if I wanted to, but I think this is good. Bookworms do it quietly. Uh, if you want to put a half tone back here, you can. Or if you want to put some things back here, you can. Uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to do the same thing for the big one. I'm going to drag the big one in here. Now we can still use this same curve on this little one because it's going to match pretty closely. And we're just going to use it, uh, the bigger one, so that it's not so pixelated. Because if you come in here, you can see it starts to pixelate on this old one uh, or the small one. But the bigger one won't do that pixelation. So just to have a cleaner, uh, cleaner thing right here. All right, I wanted to show you back on DGB LOL. You can see it's done. So I'm going to hit download right here. You can see it downloads to my downloads uh, file, my downloads folder. And then once I have that, I'm going to drag it into Affinity Designer and I'll show you the difference between the small one and the big one. All right, I'm back here on Affinity Designer. Now I already did uh, the, the bigger one. I put it into Affinity Photo, uh, took out the background like we showed on the small one. And I'm going to drag in it now. Uh, the bigger one here so you can see the difference in size and kind of even the difference in quality so i'm going to shrink it down to about the same size so you can see uh, what the differences are so here we go so you can see this one is more pixelated than that one you can see how clean that is and when we go down here to same thing with the book here you can see all these artifacts but here it's kind of a lot cleaner so i'm going to use this one instead and if I do it right, I can use the same clip um, curve here. Just make sure it's right there on top and then make this one right there. And we're kind of matching the same size here. Now I'm going to release the one in the back here, this curve. If I go like this, I can take the small one out right there and I can put the bigger one in. So I'm going to remove the um, back one here. And you can see this one and this one. There's the curve right there. Now I can, it kind of works right here. We're just gonna check if it's on everything. Uh, yeah, I think it will work. So let's see what happens when I put this inside the bigger one, bookworm big, into the curve here. And it just works just like that. So perfect. Uh, I don't have to do anything. I'm gonna have to remove this one. So I'm gonna. Take that one out, uh, use this bookworm right here and, and, the, and the two um, dark ones. I'm going to hit Command C, um, put it here and Command V and then we got it here as well. So there you go. Um, these look actually really small. Now I can make it bigger on this one. It doesn't have to exactly match. I think in the black version it needs to be bigger and the white version is fine. So again, like you can put more things behind here if you want to put like a, a gradient or something like that. So there you go. I think this is a, a finished one for me. The next thing that I like to do is I like to do mock-ups for these. I'll show you how to, how to do that as well. I'm going to just export it here. So I'm going to take out the background here like that. And I'm going to hit Command, Option, Shift, S to export it. And I'm going to just do Selection Only and hit Export like that. And I'm going to call this bookworms. Do it quietly. And I hit save. Now I'm going to go into place it and show you how I make mockups for this. So here I am on place it. I did a search for reading book mockup. Uh, you can do whatever you want, depending on which one you're doing, uh, which niche you're doing. So I'm going to click on this one right here. And all you have to do is hit design and then upload from your device. And the last thing that I uploaded was bookworms, that PNG file on my desktop. And it's just gonna load it up here. So I'm gonna put it like that up here and hit crop and t-shirt color. You can pick whatever you want. Uh, you can see it's not showing up because it's too big. So let's uh, resize it here. 
and you'll be able to see a live preview here if I move my face. So let's see, let's move it down and we can move it up here so it fits. Yeah, I think that gets the idea. So we'll hit crop here, bookworms, and we can see related ones, but I like the ones that are facing forward, not sideways, because it's really hard to see t-shirts there. You can see I used this one before, um, and there's some other ones, and I'll, there's lots of other ones in here that you could use, but let's say we're going with this one. I'm just gonna hit download like that, and it's gonna think about it, process, and once it's ready, it's gonna say click here to download, and I'm gonna do that. Oh, there you go. Click here to download, and this is gonna go to my downloads folder, and I can use this for mockups and, and social media and stuff like that. Now the very last step that you're gonna do is to upload it to your print-on-demand shop. So this can be Amazon, T Public, Redbubble, wherever you're gonna sell it on, and you can do it here. This is Amazon right here, Amazon Merch On Demand. Now you're gonna take that PNG that we saved from Affinity Designer and just drag it in here. So that's what I'm gonna do. So here we go, boom. And it should work pretty good because we made it, remember the file, a 4500 by 5400. And as long as it's less than 25 megabytes, which really is pretty big, um, it's gonna work just fine. So we can come in here and pick the different colors that it will work great on. We can also size it down if we don't want it that big. And then pick up to 10 colors that we think it would work. I think red would work really well, but you can see I chose more than 10 colors. So I can come in here and say maybe, you know, maybe not that blue or maybe not brown or whatever. So there you go. And make sure you get the right prices and so on on all the different print on demand sites that you want. So there you go, there's a full tutorial on what I did for today um, for reading. Um, now I really wanna stress that you should be doing your own designs. I know this was a tutorial to show you how to do it, but pick a different design style, pick a different graphic, pick a different words. You don't wanna copy me on this one for two reasons. First, uh, you don't wanna copy this because we don't, uh, we don't wanna copy each other and we don't wanna have the same things on there and that's one way to really get your account um, either lowered or taken off is by copying other people. And uh, this one doesn't even have sales. So if you're a copycat person that loves to copycat stuff, this isn't really a wise choice either because this one doesn't have any sales. Why would you copycat a, a design that doesn't even have sales anyway? So uh, hopefully that makes sense. I want you to take some of the skills that you learned on here on how to create good prompts, how to create good designs and, and outlining all the stuff, everything that you watched here and make your own design that looks totally different with different words and different colors and everything, right? Different fonts even. So have fun with this one. Hopefully you've learned a lot of different skills that I, I use in my everyday. If you wanna see more Design with Detour videos just like this, let me know in the comments. I'll put one that I did here recently. It's one of my earlier ones that I did uh, with AI designs and you can see it right here, one of my more popular ones. Thanks again for watching. And as always guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one.